Welcome to Bill Dance Saltwater. Great fun, fishing that anyone can do. Yes, you can do this. Hello again, everybody, and welcome to another fantastic episode of Bill Dance Saltwater. Webster Dictionary defines a memory as recalling what has been retained or the condition of being remembered. Well, today, Bill, along with his dear friend and excellent guide, Peter Deeks, are continuing what they do every time they're together. What's that? It's making memories. Now, for Bill, it's not all about catching fish that helps make up his memories. No, there's more to it than just that. It's the camaraderie with his fellow anglers. It's watching all the wildlife around you. It's seeing the fish jump right next to the boat. And maybe it's just the fact that Bill's doing exactly what he loves to do, going fishing. Today, that's what Bill and Peter plan on doing, making more memories on the Indian River Lagoon near Palm Bay, Florida. There's no question that catching a monster snook can leave you with a lifetime of tremendous memories that you'll never forget. Let's watch. Boy, he's smoking it, I can tell you that. I got your, I got your, your, your shrimp net ready to go here. Oh, did you see it jump? Oh, Lee came all the way out of the water. <laughs> Look at him just cruising right there. You coming right at the boat? Quick, 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 quick. All right, I'm ready. I hope I don't get your camera wet. Come on, get him, get him, get him. Yep, pull hard. Look at him right there. He's just perfect for you. Look at his head. You saw the dent. <laughs> How bad do you want to catch this fish? I want him real bad. All what right. You what, oh, I was gun. kidding. Look at it. Here he comes. Look, look at him out there on top of the water. Is that not a beautiful? Is that not a beautiful? Here, you snow? slot him in here. I'm going to try not to get wet. I trust you. All right, here he comes. Just lift his head. Just keep coming with him. He's hooked keep good and gone to the mouth. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> That's why you have a 12 foot net on the boat. Let me bring him back here to you. Oh, man, what a fish. What a fish. Check out the size of that stallion. You are the man, man. You are the man. Look where I hit him hooked. Look, look at that hook right in the corner of the mouth. Perfect, ain't it, Big Paul? Huh? Perfect. Ha, 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 You got him? I got him. Look up. That's gorgeous. You're the man, Big Paul. Oh, you're the man. Goodness gracious. Okay, I'm going to... Here. You want to send him back in? Yeah. You know how to do this better than anybody. You've done it so much. Look at, I want to show you something. You don't think that, look at the size of that mouth. Look here. Hello. <laughs> All right, let's get it right You in. precious little thing, you. Another, another. This is, let me tell you something. This is my favorite inshore fish to fish for. And we were talking about those gill flaps, mm -hmm. that right there. That right there is sharp as a razor. Yeah. That can cut your line. Look at that. Yeah, so sharp. And that, and that can cut your line. Here, I'm gonna step back and you just set him out right over here. Okay. All right, she's ready, Big Paul. All right, let her go. Another 40 inch with the man. Look at her go out. Oh man, there she goes, way on out there. Give me some skin. You are the man. If I didn't have that slime on my hand, I'd have to rub it off on ah. your face. No, I wouldn't do you that way. Yeah. Bill Dance Saltwater is sponsored in part by 
Bass Pro Shops, and Cabela's. Your adventure starts here. Quantum Rods and Reels. Quantum Performance Tuned. And by Mercury Marine. Go boldly. Today's Conditions Log is brought to you by Bill Dance Digital. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube for great information that can improve your fishing. What is that? It's a horseshoe crab. I want to show you some cool things on these guys. So first of all, they don't hurt you. So walk what around is, like this. Good. No, it looks prehistoric. It does. It's like a it's like a, a spider almost, but it's a crab. Why is that one smaller than that? Is that, is that so a male? This is the male, um, and uh, this right here is the female. They have blue-green colored blood. It's not red like ours. Yeah. They don't have iron in their blood. They use copper to bind to the oxygen. Really? It's like almost like alien blood. And uh, flip him over real quick. Check out his eyes. So he's got one, two, and then there's two little eyes down there. Three, four. So four, four eyes. Two so sets. his eyes are right here, eyes here, and then two little. Says, Look two at little eyes right there. Yeah. Watch. They'll use that tail to flip themselves over. There she go. Like a little race car, huh? Go with him, buddy. Go. With him. <laughs> go. Where's he going? Right up against the shore. You're good. <laughs> yes. Which way is he going? He's up by the the, uh, the pontoon boat. Okay, I'm okay. Yeah, you're good. You can keep fishing. There's still some swimming around. All right, I can. I'm gonna get out of your way where you've got the whole front to play. No, you're okay. You're good. He's way to the right now. Is he good? Does he feel good? Yeah, he's not a... Sit down I, in my chair. I didn't think that he was a mega giant, but he's pretty big. Well, sit, sit in my chair. Big snook, boy. Boy, I'm telling you, he's, he doesn't get any better than this. How deep is this water? You want me to jump out and wade for you? <laughs> he might have to. He's pulling hard. Do what? He might have to. He's pulling hard. I've done it before. <laughs> I've seen it. You remember? I've seen it many a times from my main man, old Beepaw. I did. I, I waited for you. Waited out there and got you a big snook. All right, B. Paul, can you come up here and help me with my big old snook? I'm coming. He's not a Bill Dance snook, but he's a pretty good one. He's a big old good one or a he's good a, old big one? He's a good one. Ooh, what a fish. Oh, Mercy man. me. Hooked. Look at the size of that fish in the water. You're gonna have to net him right there if you can. Push him on in. Push him on in. <laughs> He's a caught fish. <laughs> hey, when you when you catching 44 inch snook with Bill Dance netting them for you, man, life doesn't get much better than that, does it? Mm-mm. <laughs> <laughs> you good old fisherman, you. Life is good when Bill Dance nets your 45 inch snook. Mm. Show the people at home like the girth, like the width of this fish is what's impressive. I mean, he's probably 44 inches long, but man, like that is such a cool fish. Watch your, watch your pose. Is Look at that cool? big dorsal. That is just such a cool, crazy cool fish. <clears throat> so check this fish out. Look at the size of that mouth. Big. Yeah, let's see if he can look down in there. Isn't that crazy cool? That's a big fish. There he goes. Today's show is brought to you in part by 
Mako Boats, building legends for over 40 years. Gamakatsu, the world's finest fish hooks. And Bill Dance exclusive rods by Quantum. Today's show is brought to you in part by Berkeley, catch more fish. Garmin, fight your fish, not your fish finder. And by Mystic Lubricants, lubrication domination. Today's equipment log is brought to you by Gamakatsu, because the fish of a lifetime only comes once in a lifetime. <laughs> Get him out of those trees, my man. I want to point something out real quick to the viewers. Um, I just want to talk about these hooks. So let me show you real quick. When you're snook fishing, or let's say when I'm snook fishing, I prefer the octopus shape hook. Uh, these are made by Gamakatsu. They're the strongest. They're the sharpest. They're the best hooks that you can buy. And, um, and that octopus hook, does a few things that'll really help you with the hookup and keeping the snook hooked up. Circle hooks work great, but the um, but they only work on snook if you get them right in the corner of the mouth. And a lot of times, a big snook, he's going to eat the bait and he's going to go right at you, and he's going to open his mouth and flare his gills and shake his head and try to spit the bait out. That, that's you told me. That's when he feels tension. Yeah, when he feels tension, even when he bites down in your line, like the first thing he's going to do is spit that bait out and we're talking a mouth that's like you know like 10 inches in diameter sometimes i mean giant fish and they're coming up thrashing their head and it's coming right at you and you want to keep this hook in them and so what this hook does it's bent down and that keeps you from hooking them down in the throat or gut hooking them you don't want them to swallow the hook but you do want to hook them on the roof of the mouth so this hook here it's bent down so it'll slide out of his throat and then it'll hook him right on the roof of the mouth when he's going like this. And what you want to do is just reel as fast as you can, as fast as you can, reel against the drag, set that hook hard, and you want to keep that hook pegged to the roof of his mouth, the roof of his mouth. Um, but if he does bite it and, and it swims off away from you or to the side, these hooks will hook him in the corner of the mouth really well. So, so the curvature, the curvature going toward the point has a tendency to push forward and hook him in the lip. Exactly. So and then if he goes to the side, that cur the curvature will roll and hook him in the side of the mouth, right? Exactly. It's, okay. These are well designed. They're well thought out. That hook bend and shape is, is really good. I also like this offset eye here. It's, it, they're, they're offset like that to be snelled, which is a certain knot where your line goes down in there and wraps on the shank. But I don't snell them. I just tie like a regular fishing knot to that. It gives it a big gap. It still gives it a good pull direction. And um, a 60 degree angle pull, you like that? Yeah, I do. And you know, you know as well as I do, sometimes when you're fishing for these trophy fish, trophies of a lifetime, you're only going to have a couple of shots, right? You know, we're out here fishing. Sometimes we're waiting an hour for a bite. You see these big fish, and we're not fishing for the little 30 inches. We're fishing for these 40, maybe even a 50 inch fish. And so you want to make it count. So this is the hook shape and size that I prefer that I count on and depend on. Now that hook you're, we're looking at right now, what size is that? If you had one particular size to use with the size of the bait that we're using, yep. these, these mullets, what yep. what size hook is that? So either a 6 aught or a 7 aught, um, either of those two sizes. If the fish are extra picky, I'll go to a 6 aught. Um, if, if they're not, then a 7 aught. Well, that's a perfect hook for it. That's an octopus 6 aught or an octopus 7 aught in the... Uh, I'm a got so hook. You can't get any better for ho hooking big snook. So you don't necessarily snell the hook. You can just go to a, a clinch knot. Yeah, clinch knot. It's, that's all I do. I do just a, just a clinch knot, just right there on the end. It'll pull back straight like that. That way, you're hooking the fish right on the roof of that mouth. And then when it goes in, it'll usually go in and turn a little bit because you're pulling down on it with your knot. That hook so that, that curvature way. will ride across and get him in the lip if he's up in the top part of the mouth. If he turns sideways, it gets him in the corner. 
Yeah, it's really hard if you think about it. So here's the fish's mouth. When that hook's in there, it's really hard to pull that hook out and back without hooking something. And that's it, that's my hook of choice. The Build, Ask, Question, and Answer of the Week is brought to you by Mystic Lubricants and their complete line of JT4 Marine products. A full line of products for your full line of pursuits. Visit mysticlube.com today. What are the advantages of polarized sunglasses? Well, the benefits are twofold. First and foremost, polarized lenses protect your eyes, whether it's from the sun, flying hooks, debris, or even raindrops. Of course, sunglasses also help you see better. They cut through the glare and allow you to detect fish and fish holding habitat. So wear a pair and your fishing future will be made in the shades. Today's show is sponsored in part by Millennium Marine, a new class of comfort. And by Finnor, legendary tackle since 1933. Closed caption provided by the Bill Dance Store. Check us out online. Today's product tip is brought to you by Garmin and their GPS map series, Shark Plotter Sonar Combos, with their advanced sonar technology, like Panoptic's Live Scope All-Seeing Sonar. You'll spend less time finding your fish. Can't begin to tell you how many times this past year I've been fishing a great shallow water area and catching good fish, only to have the wind come up and blow me away. So doggone aggravating. Well, along came along what I call my ready-made anchor, Power Pole. Since then, I promise no more rushing to fish a favorite shallow water spot or area because of dreaded winds. Come be part of Bill Dance Digital. Join us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. Follow us. There's one. You got one? I got one. You've always been good at helping me. Uh, promote my sponsors. Yeah. You know, like Gamakatsu, which is one of your sponsors. Yeah, sure. Uh, you've helped me uh, in promoting Power Pole, which is one of your sponsors. Yeah. Uh, but you do a lot of good, a lot of uh, good things for uh, one of your sponsors called Salt Strong. Oh, sure. Okay. And I, it, they're very, very popular. In fact, I've done some stuff for them yeah. over the years. Yeah. They're good people. Yeah. Explain to our viewers what is salt strong. Okay, so I guess in a shortened answer, salt strong is the world's largest online fishing community. So there's a forum where you can talk back and forth. There's sub communities, so you'll have an like if you live in a certain area, you can meet other fishermen. Um, you share reports, um, but I think the biggest element are unbiased fishing tips, techniques, and everything you need to know about being a boater, a kayak angler, a wade fisherman, any kind of angler. Um, we do online fishing courses. If you want to catch more fish, you can go on to Salt Strong and you can watch unbiased reviews. So I'm a fishing guide, full-time fishing guide. What I do is I share what I learned being, through being a fishing guide and I try to teach everybody else you know, not my secret spots, but how to apply it to where you live and how you fish. And you do a good job, game. and you do a good job. Yeah, I try, because like if you go you do, do a seminar somewhere else, you can't really give full information, but they're online videos. And uh, it's really cool, and the feedback's incredible, and the people that I've met have been incredible. So it's a good and it to And it's not all salt water. It's not all salt water. It's anything fishing related. And if you have a good, if you know, not you, but if anybody comes up with like a good lure that they found in like, you know, a Bass Pro Shops, they can go on Salt Strong and tell all their friends about how great it is. Everybody can go try it. And it's a way to like stream. They want to talk about a technique. They yeah. want to talk about a good place to go fishing. Yeah. They want to talk about uh, whatever they want to talk about. Sure. They can talk about. That's, yeah. good. That's a good deal. But um, you become a member and based on what you would like to do, you can either purchase courses or you can go on as a free member and uh, check things out. But you also get discounts on certain things, but it's completely unbiased um, towards products. And it's just a, it's a cool thing. 
They're all good. That's awesome. Look at that, you can't even get your hand around that tail. That's where the power is, right there. Big long lateral line, big eyes, big pretty mouth. I love fishing these fish with you, Paul. Oh, gorgeous. Are you ready to get her back in? Yeah. All right, let's get this other big old beast back in the water. Give a man, Big Paul. Huh? Lee boy, you know how to catch these, find these fish. You got them. I, 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 I think I, I would have seen like you like it. I, I got in the water wet. I look, back, I look back, he was in the water with the net. You said, we're going to get this one. <laughs> look, see what kind of guy he is. Look at that. He gets in the water for him. Big snook equal big memories. I'm willing to bet you that the memories these two great fishermen made today will stay with them for a mighty long time. You just can't imagine the power these giant snook have until you feel one on the end of your line. The feeling of a head shake or the speed of a big run. It's just the memory that's waiting for you whenever you get a chance to go fishing. And hey, if you're ever in the Palm Bay, Florida area, give Peter Deeks a call. He can sure help you create your own memories out on the water because this is something you can do. Yep, you can do this. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you again next time on Bill Dance Saltwater. We hope you've enjoyed Bill Dance Saltwater and learned that you can do this. Yes, you can do this. Please join us right here next week.